Little bear, you're a star. A Greek myth, retold and illustrated by Jean Marzolo. You'll notice that at the bottom of each page, there are two little brown painted birds. Here is what they say on the title page. We're the Greek chorus. What's that? We listen to what's going on and then we talk about it. Tweet. The ancient Greeks saw pictures in the stars. We call these pictures constellations. I don't see any constellations. Come back and look after the story. Will I see constellations then? Tweet. Way, way, way up high in the clouds, on a mountain called Mount Olympus, lived the Greek gods. The king of the gods was Zeus. The queen of the gods was Hera. Good morning, King Zeus. Good morning, Queen Hera. King Zeus noticed that way, way, way down on earth, there was a beautiful woman named Callisto. Zeus flew down to visit her. Callisto had a baby named Arcus. What did Queen Hera think about that? She was jealous. Tweet! Queen Hera decided to change Callisto into an animal so that King Zeus wouldn't visit her anymore. I'm going to change you into a... into a... Into a what? She's thinking, she's thinking. Tweet. Into a bear. Callisto was a very nice bear, but her son, Arcus, didn't understand that. If my mother turned into a bear, I would cry too. Tweet. Kind people found Arcus and took him home with them. Callisto was very glad that they were so nice. Night fell. Callisto didn't know what bears ate or where they slept. She did know one thing, though. She knew that she would always love her son, Arcus, and that she would stay nearby and watch as he grew up. Callisto misses her bed. And she misses the warm fire in her cottage. Most of all, she misses Arcus. Tweet. As time passed, Callisto began to enjoy being a bear. She learned to pick blueberries with her lips and tongue. Delicious! She also learned to eat grass and ants, though they weren't quite so tasty. As the months went by, Callisto watched her son, Arcus, learn to walk. She was very proud of him. Personally, I think beaks are better than lips for picking blueberries. But bears eat tons of blueberries. Tweet. Callisto learned to growl and roar. She roared to keep bees from stinging her nose whenever she helped herself to honey from their hives. But she never roared when her son, Arcus, was near because she didn't want to frighten him. Sometimes she sat very quietly in the trees so that she could listen to him sing. Birdie, birdie in the sky, how I wonder how you fly. I don't like honey. Me neither. It makes my beak stick together. Can bears really climb trees? Yes! Tweet! Arcus learned to catch fish. Callisto learned to catch fish, too. Do you think that Arcus knows there's a bear nearby? No. Do you think Callisto knows where her son is? Tweet! Then, Arcus learned to hunt. Callisto watched with fear. She didn't like to see her son hunt her animal friends. Run away, rabbit, run away! Run away, squirrels, too! Tweet! Some mornings, Callisto growled a hushed warning when Arcus came to hunt. The animals heard, and they ran away. Where are all the animals today? I don't see any of them. Shh, grrr. I'm glad they got away. I'm getting out of here, too. Tweet. One day, 
King Zeus looked down on earth to see how Arcas and Callisto were doing. He saw that, without knowing it, Arcas was about to shoot his mother. This will be my first bear. What should I do? I know. I'll turn Arcas into a... into a... Into a what? Make up your mind, Zeus. Hurry. Tweet. Into a bear. Arcas was surprised to find himself getting a bear hug from a bear. Then he realized that he was a bear, too. Big Bear growled with happiness. Little Bear understood and growled back. Big Bear told Little Bear how she had once been his human mother. Little Bear told Big Bear that he had always sensed that there was someone watching over him as he grew up. What about the nice people who took care of Arcus? Zeus sent them another baby, so they wouldn't miss Arcus so much. Tweet! King Zeus decided that Big Bear and Little Bear should stay safely together forever. So, with a flash of lightning, he turned the bears into stars and tossed them by their tails into the sky. The last star Zeus touched was at the end of Little Bear's tail. This star will be famous, Little Bear. It will be the only star that never moves as the seasons change. I will put it in the north sky, and people will call it the North Star. They will use it to find their way when they are lost. As they find their way, they will remember how you and Big Bear found each other. Their tails look longer now. Yes, they stretched a bit when Zeus put the bears in the sky. Did that hurt? No. Do the bears miss being real bears? No, they love being star bears. Together forever and ever. Shining down on Earth. Tweet. Stargazer's Guide After you look at this picture, go back to the star picture in the front of the book. Can you find Big Bear and Little Bear? Keep in mind that the handles of the dippers are the tails of the bears. On the left page, you see Big Bear, also called Ursa Major, which means Big Bear. That constellation is also called the Big Dipper, made out of seven stars. On the right side, you see the Little Bear, also called Ursa Minor which means the same thing. Some people also call that constellation the Little Dipper, made out of seven stars. Remember that a dipper is like a ladle. That's a type of spoon that people use to serve soup. The North Star is in the tail of the Little Bear, or the very tip of the handle of the spoon. So it's called the North Star, also called the Pole Star, or Polaris. And if you can find the North Star, you will always know where North is, because the North Star is in just the right place so that even when the Earth turns, the North Star never really seems to move at all. So you can use it to help you find where you are. To find the North Star, you go five times the distance between the front two stars of the Big Dipper. So if you look at the Big Dipper, and you look at those front two stars, see how long that is. Then go that length five times straight across, and you'll see the North Star, the star that never moves in the sky. Why is Little Bear upside down? Well, when the Earth turns, it looks like the constellations slowly turn around in the sky. The only star that doesn't move is the North Star. Yes, and Zeus gave that to Little Bear. Tweet.